G'day and welcome back to Planet Coaster and Stitch Up and of course our Studios Pack uh, series and the theme park is called Sunset Studios. Man, there's so much to get out at the start of the episode. It's like, okay, what are we? What game are we playing? Um, who am I? Um, what's the series called? <laughs> what's this episode going to be about? Um, yeah, anyway, so um, I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Uh, it's a, um, a slow start, but um, look, again, I, I talk about my, my mandate on this particular park uh, being... Um, being all about the build um, and not about placing, not about um, so not so much about uh, manipulation of terrain, which are quick wins, um, tree placement, quick wins, all that sort of stuff. Uh, the 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 I really wanted to get into the actual build, and that's why Studios Pack was so so good uh, for me. So um, yeah, if we have a look here. Um, you can actually see that off camera, I've been doing a little bit of uh, building. And so I've gone ahead and um, filled in the section, um, this whole section, and it's the, the foreground to uh, the hotel. And what I've actually done is gonna put a lovely fountain in. So I dropped in a circular fountain and changed it, ooh, seven or 800 times. And then um, uh, I'm, just, I'm just making a, a little border for it at the moment. But yeah, if we have a look here, um, drop in a fountain. And then what I've gone and done is just just overlaid um, the geometric circles, uh, but use the the mathematics and symmetry just to keep them. So it's got that kind of you know you know if you look at the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, that tall building, it's got that sort of look to it. This fountain, um, and I think it's cute. I think it's really nice, and I like that. Uh, there's a bit of height difference from the top, um, the the raised sections of the fountain down to the bottom. So you've got like a you've got lower fountains, and then you've got another one, and the water could possibly um, trickle down. Down. So I hope you do like that. Put a gold statue at the top of it. And uh, yeah, we're basically off and running on that one. Um, again, all that will be filled in over um, over time, probably off camera a lot of it. Um, and then I don't think it's particularly interesting to watch me uh, pop down trees and things. So the, all the little details, probably off camera, um, because I'm just not quick enough, even on the speed builds, I'm just not quick enough at um, and doing these uh, sections. I think my issue is that um, I, well, not my issue, but I think that I, my park is big and I, I've got so much area is to fill in and detail so um, whereas if I had a really really small park and I just sectioned it off nicely I'd probably be able to do that uh, but um, it's not it's not to be all right so once we put the water around the hotel I, the first thing that became apparent was that I will need to move the uh, tram car ride because I wanted it to go across this area I mean it kind of has to to get back to it but what I decided to do was um, put a, a, a bridge in that is not curved um, now at the moment the bridge is curved uh, at the ends but there's a straight section and the terraforming will will be pushed out just slightly uh, so that it's just a straight section of the bridge and the idea is that you know if people are staying in the hotel or visiting the hotel or looking across at um, the bridge um, or if they're on the bridge looking at the hotel then they're not you know two meters away they're they're, they're 20 or 30 meters away you know in real in real space so uh yeah a little bit of terrain editing here we can also see how many um how much throughput this ride has at the moment um this is all just temporary guessing and we'll probably start to uh, adjust it but just remember my trams on this tram car ride are four trams long which i love i think that reminds me of because they're big trams they hold a lot of people and four of them just shows you how um like at Universal in Hollywood, I remember going on it and theirs were like four, I think three or four trams, but really big trams and so many people, probably a hundred all up, um, maybe maybe more, but a hundred people on each on each time that it goes is massive. Um, and when you're talking throughput on a big park, uh, yeah, you, you you want you want that. So um, these trams are a lot smaller, but four of them, I mean, they're really cute. Um, again, it's the default color of the tram. I must uh, go back and change that. But uh, this is just to make some changes so I can start finishing off this area. I'll start a station building here. And I, um, I always thought that I want the wall, I want a little bit of planting, and then I want the, um, the you know, the barriers or uh, the pathing and queue system. So I always thought I wanted that um, so yeah, it would be wall, plants, and then the queue. And so I'm just, uh, I, I thought I'd better extend the wall there just so I can see what my boundary is. Um, 
I'm continuing along with a bit of a concrete theme here and um, going a little bit geometric on some of these patterns and in fact I've gone too close to the wall there. So here I leave myself a nice little bit of room uh, for the um, for the planting just to go along the side there. Um, we do get a bit of height here as well. Uh, I, I, I always thought I would never do custom supports and um, I noticed that because I'm over the station here, it's not putting some supports in. And I remember when I did it, I thought, I'll just build some custom supports. But of course, I won't build them like they've built them. I'm, I'm, I'm probably not good enough for that. But what I will do is I'll go ahead and build my own custom supports just for those sections. And then maybe place them over the top of the other ones anyway. So that when you walk through, everything looks a bit uniform as well. So um, just playing around here. I'm thinking now as well, uh, look, I've got to find out where the tram's going. So at this point, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, well, hang on. I need to see the tram. Um, I need. I know I need to get across uh, across to the other side. So the tram is now going under this path, and you'll see here's a tram here. It goes under the path nicely, which I think is really really nice. I've got an idea here of doing a um, a lovely tunnel that looks very um, almost like a um, uh, almost like a tunnel in a mountainside. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it or if I've got room um, and I don't know if I want to make this a, a mountain um, uh, boarding station. So but just the idea of like a, a lovely sort of, I don't know, the tram going through an actual stone tunnel, um, I think could be really cute. Uh, but th these are just ideas, of course. And of course, I've got the, the going for an exit path that's got a bit of conc a concrete look to it or an asphalt look to it. And, um, but still trying to tie in with the other one. And again, I'm thinking here, well, I know I need to be bridging across. So this is all basically um, telling me how big my station needs to be. And um, I do like the idea of the queue wrapping underneath. Um, so at the moment, my thoughts are to put in a um, uh, an exit queue just here and have the entrance and exit right there. So you can get off and, and get straight back on. Then I have a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a, a thought on this one, and I think, well, hang on, uh, do I really, do I really uh, want that exit queue to um, to be there? That's a bit typical. So um, in a minute, you'll see um, I start to make some plans, and I'm just topping up my asphalt here. I'm just I'm just knocking out the asphalt. Um, from a bird's eye point of view, I like seeing asphalt on one side and desert on the other. I remember seeing it for the first time at the forecourt and I just thought this looks really nice. Um, here, uh, my asphalt is just making the park look polluted and I mean, yeah, it, look, uh, it's probably realistic. You would you would think that if they were going to build a theme park in in the um, in the desert, they would they'd asphalt a lot of it, and it would be concrete and asphalt um, as opposed to just you know desert and everything. But so I've gone with it at this point, um, and I guess I fill it in with props. It's how it's how I make it look um, different that, um, and how I how I I make it look not so false and fake. Um, that's where the creativity lies. All right, uh, now if we just have a look here, um, my next part was to think about the exiting. Uh, and, and if I click on, the, I've noticed that I only have to click on the station and I can see where the tram goes. So it's a nice little trick there. I was trying to think, how can I see it? How can I see it? But really click on the station, you can see it and um, you don't need to. I, I, was, I was knocking the ground out and terraforming and then putting the ground back and there were issues. And you know what? Um, you know what it can be like. So at this point, I pop in uh, these bits. Now I have one complaint about these bits. Uh, these little clear, clear parts. Um, I want to turn off the dotted supports. But I, I understand they need to be there so you can see where they're going, but. I want them to be less visible. I want a way to be less visible. Um, I, I find that even, and you'll see in the finished product in a little bit, you'll see that uh, um, I kind of cover them up with a bit of uh, asphalt on some parts, but in other parts where I have to put a zebra crossing, they cross the road, you can see that um, it just doesn't kind of work. Um, and or it works, but it's just not as elegant as I'd like it. Um, so I've connected I've connected up here, and, and this is obviously where one of the, um, uh, zebra crossings is going to go and this fence along here I've never been happy with this looks wrong this fence just looks not straight I mean it, no the fence materials are good but you know it's built on a grid and 
if it's built on a grid, it just friggin, um, it's all over the shop for me. It's just too hard to place. I don't know. I think, again, I'm learning and I've just gone and built it and thought, yeah. And I think experienced builders would look at that and go, no, nah, no, nah, you don't want a fence built on a grid because when you try and do something else, it's not going to let you. You can turn the grid size down, but that has its limitations. Um, and I thought I was doing a pretty good job with the spacing of all these zebra crossings. Um, and look, I think once you get, look at that, once you get a fair bit of it in, you can't see the spacings are off uh, too badly. But when I was putting them down and in real time and as you're floating around the park, you can see that um, it just doesn't quite, they're, they're just, they're a little bit sort of, I wish there was a way of not doing things by eye. So I wish there was a way where you could set the distance of um, ungridded props and you could set them, say, I don't know, a foot apart. And then you would know that it's a foot apart and then you duplicate it, but you know the next two goes to be a foot apart because I think you really have to do that by eye. I, I'm almost sure that you, you can't do that. Um, and I think that would be a, a real bonus for the game. Um, playing around with a few things here, moving a bank. I think the bank was probably the first, one of the first things we popped. I know it was in the first episode, this, um, this bank with the ATMs and things in it. Um, was one of the first um yeah and I, I i don't know what's happening with the path underneath i don't know what that path is um i have to go and have a look i've just had a thought i must go and have a look at what the path is just under here where i'm just near where i'm building because that path is guests can get across there and you don't see anything that path there so if that's an asphalt path then maybe i just need to put that where the zebra crossings are oh because i could put that at the front near the um yeah near the uh fountain oh yeah in fact i could use it everywhere because it really it's all the it's every yeah look at that okay okay i'm gonna fix that um mind you i haven't seen any guests walk across it so let me see. but then again apart from a couple of atms there's no reason for the guests to walk across it and they don't obviously don't need atms because i haven't got anything to spend money on i do have a few sh a few shops um a toilet block is needed a toilet block is needed um i'm scrambling this <laughs> this park has been opened and now we're like oh we need this we need that we need sort of thing and i and i'm scrambling between things i must build to make good sense of the game and things that i want to build um and of course i'm i'm leaping from project to project um but i'm trying to find a nice balance of what i think people would want to watch um again i'm not getting a lot of view i'm getting a fair few views but i'm not getting a, definitely not getting too many comments there's a couple of um people out there just making regular comments and um that that's all fine but i've always said that these two series um the previous series was 17 episodes this is already 12 or 13 this is gonna be 40 yeah yeah, it's going to hit the big 40 um and so i i think um i've always said this is a back catalog these are always back catalog because i don't have the people watching my channel but my theory is that maybe one day they will so i want it to be nice that people can can turn it on and have um 30 hours and 40 episodes of um or 20 hours or whatever it is of, of just stuff they can watch in the background um these people have no feet uh and of course, I make some little adjustments to that because um, I've just got to get the level, the level perfect. I wish there were easier ways to to do all this, um, but yeah, there must be a terrain issue happening here because you can see that um, the the sidewalk is just cutting off at an angle there on that left bit. Um, I just ignore it and go straight over the top of it with that. But um, yeah, look, I do like the idea of these sidewalks being right up against the. Um, the uh the, the theaters oh what not the theaters the um uh studio buildings i i am tinkering with the idea of moving the two buildings back on their grid a little bit and popping some garden in between where the guests walk because the guests walking right next to it it's kind of realistic but it's kind of squashy um so i'm thinking if i could it would help me to it would help me by getting a little bit of green in there so um there could be a whole lot of moving and tinkering and again i'll need to do it before i move the tram ride and i don't think i've left myself enough room well i've got a bus there i, I look i could move it all forward 
Um, I could decide to move it all forward nice and easy, but I've got a, a bus there. And I did like the bus. I thought the bus made good sense, but the bus doesn't have to be parked on an angle. I just thought, you know, bus pulling in, parking on angle, it would back up, drive straight out. So I think that adds to a bit of realism. Again, it's a road that no one uses. It's a it's a uh, look at the people coming off. It's interesting because they've all come off in one, they come off in one big group and then they, that's the group and they stay in their group and they walk around some people walk a bit faster than others and then there's a little gap and then the next people come off um i think i had i changed the station setting for the tram car ride so i think i had uh, f 10 seconds or no five seconds in of minimum in between um um trains that go and i've changed that i think to 15 at the moment so um again this is just to so i don't have tram behind tram and then you know 30 trams in a section and, and then it takes a couple of hours of game time for them to all spread out and stuff uh so this that will all change once we start actually uh, syncing up what's happening in these um, uh, in, on the tram tour. And of course, I'm going to want uh, some trams to stop um, and see things. Um, my my complaints at the moment, or my issue, I don't know how to fix this, is that trams at the moment you can go in it and. If all the action's happening on the left-hand side, you can't tell the guests to look at it. That's where that ride that has that, um, the Harry Potter ride that has the, the, the hand or that claw that holds the people, it points people in the direction you want them to look. And I think that that's, that's coming. That is coming. Um, do you know what else is actually going to come along? And I, I, I'm going to put it in at some point, but I, I've got to wait until I've got capacity. Um, it could be somewhere in Ratchet and Clank, although I think I need to go a little bit more generic, maybe Haunted House or something, um, something that ha already has stuff to build in game. Um, but what is coming is the um, the, the Tower of Terror um, style ride. Um, and I always was looking at it thinking, well, yeah, but you can only get a couple of people in. It doesn't really work. But then you put two or three of them next to each other and then you make uh, the building um, uh, stretch across the three rides. So really, you've got one big building and you could duplicate the scenes as well. You could, yeah, you could. Or you could duplicate them or you could change the scenes up a little bit so that people want to ride and get car one, car two or car three. Um, and and I think that helps people to get re-rideability. Um, three separate rides, three separate queues, maybe synced up to some degree. Oh, also, I changed the... Um, the water tanks here. I decided the water tanks are, are blue. There's too much blue. Uh, there's just too much blue in the park. So I tried to change. I decided to change them. And at the moment, they're um, this kind of green. Um, it kind of works. Uh, I'll also change the uh, the bases to uh, a whitish, a light grey that's almost white. Um, and it kind of works. And it kind of looks a bit stupid. I think I need a real pastel colour for these uh, water tanks. And I uh, will put them on. Um, the water tanks are, I think, good a good element because they break up the, the, the sight line. Um, so, yeah, um, they break up the sight line as you walk in. It's, it's a nice medium height, and then you've got the big building behind it. So I think it's good to give people a nice depth for their photos and just a nice focal point. But, um, again, we'll change the colour probably 30 or 40 times. Uh, and um and keep changing them till we're happy uh, mucking around with that palm tree and that whole fence and palm tree is going to go and i'm going to try and find a fence that i like and i can use all throughout the park or at least all throughout uh, the studios um the studio ride um and of course there here we just start to block these off with a few of these um they were going to be there like the studio was using them but now i've got a little um that whole area is going to be a little construction docking area and um, I'm going to change the colour of a lot of these. But um, yeah, we're going to go into the real time part of the episode uh, in uh, just a moment. So I hope you've been enjoying the speed builds. I hope you like that sometimes I put music, sometimes I don't. And um, yeah, I really hope you're enjoying um, the series. Um, I will see you momentarily and we will have a look. Um, in real time at um, future plans for Sunset Studios and exactly what we are doing.
section now of uh, of this um, of this episode. Uh, so yeah, you can just see. Um, let's go back and have a look at a few things that we've just created over this uh, kind of episode, and we'll just have a look uh, in a bit more detail. And uh, of course, recap from um, what's happened at the previous episode. So again, like I said, it'll be in between episodes that things like these little planter beds along here will eventually turn into things like this over here and I think that's kind of nice it's cute yeah I like that I love it and I really like um what time of the day is it at the moment it's always 10 a.m in <laughs> this lovely uh park um so 10 a.m uh and I do like that um again the shadow um and I like that now it's in shadow at 10 a.m you can see these lovely um uh, lanterns just along the front they're not on these parts here but just along the front um the lanterns really just seem to have more effects and again there they look pretty good um and especially out there as well so um i like the scale of this um of this fountain yeah i think it, it kind of is good we just we just constructed that now i'm not sure what to do here i've got my focal points here here and here um to get people across mind you um Oh, here's some people coming to look at it. Yeah, I'm not too sure about um, what to do there um, uh, in these little gaps and the fact that it doesn't kind of line up perfectly. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering whether or not... I can't really put plants around the outside or anything. Um, yeah, I might have to come back and just tidy it up and fix up the path. Getting a perfect circle was just really difficult. Um, but, um, yeah, I do like, again, I like more curves and less square bits. Um, all right, so still not sure about the width here of this um, walkway. I think it's too narrow for the throughput. Um, but I really am enjoying this building here. Um, I think it's kind of modern. It's quite different to the original... Um, um, to the original building and the hotel building and I think it just serves as a nice very gen definitely generic but slightly architectural slightly nice nice sort of it, it you know it, it ties into the desert setting I think this could be a really realistic look at those it's almost like those clay bricks could have been made out of some of the stuff that we find in the ground here and I think that's really cool I like putting this rock on its end and putting another rock bisecting it as well that was nice again once we popped in planting I think it's all starting to take place nicely um plans again as well here uh this again don't don't forget this will be a um a temple nice and enclosed and definitely over here is where ratchet and clank world's going to be or this whole section is going to be the ratchet and clank world and um i have the idea that i'm going to sink it down so you'll walk into a uh, into a valley and it'll all be quite quite um quite sunken down so yeah so um, enjoying getting some thoughts about Ratchet and Clank. I think it's just going to be a... I'm really excited about it. I'm not sure how people are going to get to it. I always thought they'd get to it here. I like that it's just there. But it could be a case that they go maybe through the mountain. They may go round the mountain and through the mountain. Um, and um, it could be it could be that it, you know the entrance is here through a tunnel, um, which could be kind of cool as well because then you've got this lovely mountain. And then if it goes down into a valley, you've got a mountain and a valley, and all of a sudden we start to play with different heights and things. And with Ratchet and Clank World, we're talking roller coasters that don't have um, you can't see the ground or anything, and they go through all these lovely electrical loops and very Ratchet and Clank World. Um, and in that, um, I think once we get a bit of height and stuff, we'll be able to start playing with that. So I've got lots of things um, in my mind. Uh, now, if we have a look at the overall um, uh, look of the park, don't forget, um, I've just gone up to a very bird's eye view. Um, still a lot of real estate, which is excellent. Where's the boundary? Yeah, look at that. Massive amount of real estate, which is good. Um, so I've still got plans to do a space centre into the back corner. Uh, and the uh, I've also, uh, most of this area here would be the tram tour and off limits to guests walking around for most of that area there. Although I do want the guests to be able to basically, if I draw a diagonal line from this point through to this point, the guests can walk around this side of the park and into a bit of the other side. Um, but, and, and of course, uh, I don't, um, I think the tram tour needs to be really separated so that people go on the tram tour because that's not something you can see walking around. So, 
not sure if the tram tour is going to stay here coming down this way. Uh, I, I don't want them to see any of this. I don't know how to do that at the moment, but it will come to me. Um, I do have the interest of putting in a lovely uh, river um, at some point, and I want to put the river in fairly soon, and it's going to go right through the park. I want bridges, I want water, and I would love the river to be along there. Um, river boat ride, maybe, maybe. We'll see if we can fit it in. These things take a lot of room. I will be playing with the colours of these uh, and, and putting lots of stickers over these um, boxes, but I think they create a nice industrial um, segmentation to whatever's happening over um, there for the tram tour ride. And people would enter the tram tour ride here, and this is what we created last episode. So just a reminder here, um, Yep, as we could see, I went in, or not last episode, this episode, uh, I went in and um, actually uh, straightened that out, so that's all looking pretty good even in, in real time. Um, I'll be able to create a lovely bridge off that, um, and uh, I don't, again, I've got curves, so I'll probably extend the land out here, so it's a bridge coming straight off a straight bit. I don't want the bridge with curves at all. I'm not a good enough builder to do that. Uh, Silverette can take care of that, and, and Jaunty, and, um, and people like that, but I'm definitely not... Um able to do that oh lots of people on the tram so i like that um people can go start using the tram ride now um there's a lovely exit path that then takes them along here we created this just earlier so you've seen all this but yeah i do like that zebra crossings are becoming a bit of a thing and of course we've got a peek through to the um tram tour area there so that's all that's all pretty good uh this area here will be done off camera because i need to just put a few more things in it's almost complete but i i just you know parking bays on the diagonal the um the road all of it needs just a little bit of uh fine tuning and we'll we'll uh, we'll get there i'll probably start putting in things like tanks as well um and just things because they're like set pieces they're, they're they'll just be parked there because it's a studio and someone's moved the tank there because it's going to be used in three days for filming a scene out of an action movie so i like the you know that's a story sort of behind uh, placing things like tanks and, and props eventually i will come back of course and create when we do the full tram tour ride we'll come back and create the inside of this building and it'll be a pirate theme um and i will get in there i'll move the um split the building i'll move the top half of the building off i'll create the uh, set inside and it'll be fantastical and then uh and then they'll um put the roof back on that's the plan um and i don't know if it'll uh, end up like that but that's that's what i plan to do at the moment one thing i do plan to do and i'll keep this short because we'll do it in the next episode i think but um I like that um, people have been able to now come in and they can they can now use the tram tour ride. So that's, you know, even though really I'll, I'll probably turn the tram tour ride off. I just wanted to see how people walk and use the exit paths and everything. But I will turn it into a testing phase again because I don't want people using it. Um, if, I, if I'm thinking about this being an open park that's been opened with minimal building and then being developed and expanded as we in front of the guest's eyes and, you know, uh, then um, the tram tour ride would definitely not be up and running. It'll be created over many, many times. So you get three or four different things that it'll look at and then we'll, we'll open it with expansions. I'm probably going to also look at doing things like... Um, uh, like a tunnel, like the, you know, the King Kong um, in the in the Universal uh, Hollywood uh, tram to a ride. You know, they went through the tunnel and King Kong was there. Well, I might do that with the um, uh, what's that octopus looking thing? Um, the Kraken, 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 or whatever the the big uh, that yeah, the Kraken or that big um, monster. So I might do it with that just to get some animatronics going and and, and things like that. Um, yeah, cool. I mean, I'm generally happy with all this. Um, there is one other thing that I do want to put in. So I've got one flat ride here. I was thinking about putting in this section here, uh, three or four flat rides all tucked in together. So just kind of like a little fairground, a bit like a fairground, but a bit more of a modern version of a fairground. I'm talking about three, three flat rides that all look quite different from each other and all just kind of tucked in and quite tightly packed in and almost like they're going to touch each other, but they won't. Um, and then I think then we can just kind of decorate the whole area and i think that's good for throughput i think that really helps our guests to get in and try some different rides and things so that's probably gonna and that will come off in this section here and then i'll be able to continue along these paths and get the guests coming because this is an active path at the moment and i can put a bridge over here and I can continue along. So our guests will be able to literally exit the tram tour, come down here, jump on the flat rides. 
Uh, yeah, so it's all good. There's so much to do. I've got to. I've really got to come back and keep building my temple. I mean, my temple's starting to look pretty good. I love my snake. The snake is freaking awesome. Um, I love the the station. I haven't. Uh, I think this is probably. Uh, I think this is probably my best building so far in the whole game, ever. I I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's not saying much because it's pretty crap, isn't it? But I just think yeah, the way I've sort of built it, gone back and ruined it. I know some of this is too fresh and I've got to dirty it up and break it a bit, but I kind of just like, I like the idea of it. I like the idea that it's like an open temple. It's probably just not jungly enough at the moment, but I don't, I want it to be quite visible to, um, and stuff. So yeah, we shall see what we shall see. Um, ooh, a river of lava as well could go through here. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm getting lots of ideas. I mean, I'm just constantly getting ideas, to be honest. So, um, I don't know how you guys think about um, your Planet Coaster parks, but I I play, I watch a lot of uh, other people, uh, Rudy and Kamel, um, John T from Geekism, uh, Bro Coaster, all, all of these amazing people, Silverette, um, Flabaliki, you know, I... I I watch all these people and there's there's so many more. Oh, uh, 8-Bit Josh, um, can I have a shout out? I'm gonna give a shout out to 8-Bit Josh. Um, and uh, sorry, Josh, if there's like no one watching my channel, but I'm gonna give you a shout out anyway, because 8-Bit uh, Josh is brilliant. I just, he's a, he's, he's a great concentrated builder in Planet Coaster. He's making an amazing science fiction theme park um, at, that is uh, has a, a, uh, a snow setting. Yeah, and it's, I think it's called Aurora Park and it's brilliant. Um, and I love that. Uh, just every episode, it's every episode's a speed build, and he gets right in here, and he's he's in there, he's building, and he's putting all the little details in, and it's just it's pretty cool. I, I think he's a great builder, um, and 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 he's got one of those voices where um, he, you just want to. He's got he's got a flabberleaky type voice where you just want to uh, listen to the next episode, and he should be on radio because he's got a great voice. Um, cool. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to leave it here, and in the next episode, we'll get going on the flat ride section, and I'm going to turn that tram tour off shortly. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, lots to be done lots to be done hit the like don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode cheers